guys. It is Monday, December 14th, 5.30. Uh, let's talk about a couple things. This is one of those nights when I said, oh, I might be running a minute or two late. So that's what's going on right now. Just trying to get the music set up. And that's Stella drinking very loudly behind us. Um, so a couple things. So Catalyst is, is uh, reopened. The classes aren't starting until next week. And that's the classes, like any classes. Um, Hope Chest classes, we're going to start with just Saturdays at Maple. And we're going to start officially on the 26th. So the first Saturday after Christmas officially we'll start our class at the Maple Road location. Um, in the meantime, next Saturday, the 19th, we're talking about where Ellen and I are talking about doing a, what's called a pop-up. So it's like a last minute, we're gonna have this class. So um, I've been getting some interest and as long as we have 10 people, she's gonna do that for us. We will still stream. So don't worry about it. You don't have to go out if you don't want to. Um, good news, it looks like there's a vaccine and it's starting to be distributed throughout Western New York. So, and that's gonna take time and I know people are nervous about even taking it. So again, we're not forcing you out of the house. We're not forcing you into the clubs. We still have this for now, uh, for a while, I'm sure. Hopefully, you know, till everybody's comfortable again, but we gotta, you know, for today. So today we're talking about today, today we're here. And we'll be here Wednesday and Saturday. I'll be at Maple Road with a couple of y'all and the rest of us will be on Facebook Live. So, with all that being said, all those words, Stella's gonna, Stella's gonna sing, because Stella hasn't seen me all day. She's been stuck with Lucas, she's been stuck with Lucas all day. Ugh. Okay, so we're not connecting to our speaker. So you guys can start marching while I figure out why we're not connecting. Somebody turned off while it was waiting. Nope, it should be okay. You start to march. I can hear it. You might be able to hear it coming from my phone. Big march. Step touch. There it is. Double step. I didn't have a lot of time to look, so I just grabbed one of the first mixes. Hopefully we like it. Uh-huh, uh-huh. Ready to take it to a grapevine? Grapevine right here. So I still have my chair down here. I was thinking a four by four with the chair and a knee. What do you think? Sounds like a great idea. Around the world arm. Four more. Three. Two. Step touch. Knees up front. Pull it down. Hamstring, reach and pull. Knees up front, four. Hamstrings, four. Knees up front, two. Hams, two. Knees, two. Hams, two. Knees, two. Hams, two. One more time, two knees, two hams. And a center squat. Press it back. Press it back. Reach for the floor right between the feet. Add that overhead extension. Down, ceiling. Down, ceiling. In four. In three. In two. In one, pulse it down, little pulse. Widen the stance, weights in the heels. Little 
spine, side to side. Add that reach across the chest. Up overhead, reach. Out in front, reach. By your toes, reach. In front, reach. Up overhead, two times. In front, two times. Down low, two times. In front, up high. In front, down low. In front, wide squat. Press it back, press back. Watch those knees, keep the weight in the heel. Keep the chin up. Pulse it down, little pulse. Hands on the quads, stay here. Round your back, release it. Round your back, release it. Round your back, roll it up, shoulders back. Elbows back, arms back. Great big deep breath. So yes, I'm working in the office this week. So, rushing home, fine. Like I have enough time-ish, uh, as long as I leave on time. And right now there's very little traffic. So we're gonna do four by four. So we're going to have our chair close by. So if you don't have a chair, get a chair. If you're in your living room and you want to use your coffee table, you can use your coffee table. If you want to use your sofa, you can use your sofa. Uh, otherwise, you're going to get a dining room chair. And a dining room chair that's table height, not bar height. So we know the difference. Uh, if it's bar height and you're one of my height challenge people, Maybe it's a workout getting up into that chair every time. Anyway, let's get our weights. Here I'm using myself. So we're just going to start with upper body. And we're going to start with bicep curls alternating. We have 15 seconds, so I guess I probably should have said that before I started talking. You know what I'm saying. Okay, so your chair's close by. We have underhand grip, elbows to the waist, shoulders are back, chin is up. Now here we go. All the way up, all the way down. If you want to alternate, you can. If you want to get a rotation, you can get that rotation. That means you're going to bring it down by your side. You can do that on the double too. Just watch the death grip and watch that you're not swinging the weights. So my heels are right up against the legs of the chair. I'm going to go to alternating right here. One side, other side. Keep those elbows pinned. You're not out here. Here's going to take it into the neck and the back. You're here, elbows pinned, or you're here. Keep it going. Almost there. Almost one full minute. Did I fail to tell you what we were doing? One minute each. So we're going to go into squats. You're going to use the chair. Feet are touching the back of that chair. Weights on top of the leg. Sit down, stand up. So down and up. Down and up. So you're sitting all the way down. Again. Sit down, stand up. Sit down, stand up. Now take those weights by your side. And up. Sit down. Stand up. Make sure the knees are staying over the ankles. And up. Sit down. Stand up. Again. Sit down. Stand up. Sit down. Just a few more. So when do we breathe? Exhale on the way up. Inhale on the way down. Yeah, one more like that. Sit down. Stand up, take it side to side, side to side. Nice and easy. So we're not going to put the weights down, but we're going to go into pulses. Four pulses, take it. Four, three, two, one. Switch. Weights just hanging off the fingertips. Switch. And switch. And switch. Switch 
switch it out. Single, side to side. Weight hanging off the fingertips. You're gonna set the weights down in a second. I'm gonna show you your options. You're gonna stay here. Give me five more seconds. Okay, so we're gonna go into mountain climbers. Your weights can come down under your chair. Mountain climbers can be here, they can be here, or you're on your chair and they're here. So run it out. Or you're here. If you want to be all the way down to the floor, if you're an overachiever today, take it down to the floor. If you're going to have your hands on your chair, be very careful that you're not here because you'll push the chair away. You're here, hands directly underneath your shoulders, running it out. You can be here, but supporting your body weight that whole time is going to work the upper body too. So if you can do that, if you don't have restrictions, try it for a couple seconds. You guys keep going, I'm going to turn my chair so I can be ready to go. Ready, set, come center, pick those weights back up. Alternate or doubles right here. So we're going to switch the biceps up a little bit so we don't get bored. So if you're in the doubles, we're going to come out wide in just two more. Come out wide, wide bys right here, down and up. So we're here so that you can't swing the weights. Keep it going. You're halfway there. So now we're going to add a little change. You're going to do one up front, one to the side. One up front, one to the side. If you want to do one at a time, now the other side. A couple more like that. Up and out. Up and out. Give me one more. Up and out. I'm just going to move the chair into the view of the camera. Now listen. Down for two, up for two. So that was the pace we were going before. Down for two, up for two. We're just going to add a little change. You have the weights in your hands. I want you to reach, alternate between the feet. So reach here like you dropped your napkin. Right here between your feet. Pick it up. Come on down. Down for two, up for two. So the first time through, you were here. Now you're here. One here, now the other. Down and up. You know, as you're going slow, really working those quads. Down for two, up for two. One more. Down for two, up for two. Come up, side to side. Reach. So I want you to think now. Those knees are bent. I want you to think about getting the weight right by the knee. So I don't know about you guys, but I got a hair appointment this week. I am so excited. Can't even tell you. Four. I guess I can tell you. I just did. Ready to pulse? Pulse on one side. Four, three, two, and switch. Four, three, two, and switch. And switch. Side to side. A single. Four, eight, seven, six, five, four. Three, two, one. You're going into mountain climbers. You know the deal. We'll have on that chair. Here we go. So you can go faster. You can go in and out. You can go side to side. Or any combination. Whatever you want to do. Just keep moving. Just keep moving. So if this is boring, and you want to do in and out? Do in and out. And a couple of these. And then a couple side to side. In and out. And then out. You 
about 15 seconds. Good thing we've been checking our heart rate pretty regularly. Just one side right here. Eight, seven. Really focus on that arm. Look at that bicep. Give me four more this side. Two. What? Switch sides. Eight singles. Eight, seven, six, five. Four, three, two, finish double biceps right here. Four, three, two, sit down, stand up. Down for two, up for two. Weights on top of the quads. Watch those heels. Don't let the knees go past them. Sit down. So the reason we're sitting all the way down, really hard. Push those knees forward when you sit down. I suppose you can when you're coming up, but you're focusing, right? You're not doing it. How about by the side, now one each between the feet. Down and up, other side. Down and up, by the side. Down for two, up for two. One more there. One between the feet. Other side, by the side, you got two more like this. One, one more, down, and up, side to side, side to side. Woo, let those weights dangle off the fingertips. Side to side, reach for the knee. And four, Three, we're gonna go to pulses. Two, one, four pulses. It's four, three, two, one. Switch. And switch. And switch. Side to side, finish these. Side to side. Almost there. Almost there. You got it. In four, three, two, one. Last set of mountain climbers. Let's go. We know the deal. Four on your chair. Hands directly underneath your shoulders. Wind it out. You can be here. Still supporting your weight. Still engaging the shoulders and the back. Hop in and out, hop in and out, side to side. Four, keep those knees going. Psychologically, I think, when we're here, I'm gonna come to the side. When we're here, we get tired. But for some reason, here, it seems much more doable. Try it, try it, you have 15 seconds. Finish it out, finish up. Keep the feet moving. You got a one minute break. If you want to stay here, you can. If you want to go get water, get water. You might cheer up just a little bit. But whatever you do, don't stop moving if your heart rate's real high. When it comes center, push it out front, take it wide, pull it back. Center, push it out, open up the back. So, you ready? One side. Here we go. 
Now pull it up. Here. Here. Just make sure that back is flat. I don't want you here. Here. Or you can be up here on the back of the chair. Pulling it all the way in, not letting the body rotate. If you want to be, so when it's time to change, you can be here. You can be here. Just keep that back flat. Ready? You're going to switch sides. Switch sides. Pull. Keep that back flat. Nice and flat. If you want to be here, I like a bench over though. This gets us a little bit lower, so I prefer that you try these at least. A few of them. But we're going to use the chair still. I'm going to move my, push the chair back. You don't need to. I'll show you what we're doing. Weights or no weights. You're going to put your hand on the chair. Lunge back. Lunge back. So if you can tap the knee, that's a bonus. But use that chair to help you. Or, you know, a 100 pound dog. Whatever works for you. So lunge back. Lunge back. Now, if you have neuropathy, how about you don't put any weight on that toe? You're just pushing the knee down. Big step back, big step back, big step back. If you want to have the chair the other way, you can be here. Maybe you find this a little bit easier. Couple more. So if you have the short end of the chair, you're going to come on up and come to the tall part of the chair and hold on and reach. And reach. You don't have to. You can be here. But I don't want you doing this because you're not holding on to the chair. If you have the short end, short end of the stick, and you're here, you can still reach across the chair or you can stay here. Switch sides right here. Now I can't. I can go to the other side of the chair and you wouldn't be able to see me, so I'm going to hold on to the bike. Bring it all the way to the elbow. All the way to the elbow. Keep it going, right here. Ten more seconds, we're going to go to skipping, because that's my new favorite. Two more. Okay, so... Level one is double knee. Level two is here. Level three is just faster. So we have the chair. Oh, the chair. I did tell you to close your curtains, right? Or your neighbors are going to think you're nuts. That's okay. You can go backwards. Go forward. Just make sure you know where all your dog toys are. And your dogs. And your cats. And your Legos. Halfway there, keep going. Go a little faster. Almost there, you got 15 seconds. Come on, yes you can. Yes you can. Five more seconds. Ready? Turn. One knee down. Flat back. Pull it in. Pull it in so that back's flat, right? You're not here. You're not here. I don't even know how anybody does that, but somebody's going to do that. You're here. I want you to think you got a plate of cookies and a glass of milk. Keep it nice and flat. Don't let the body rock. Give me two more of this side. Last one. Switch sides. Here we go. Keep that place nice and steady. Nose it's kind of sloshing around a little bit, but it's not spilling. I don't know, maybe it's not milk. Maybe it's eggnog. So you just went, ew. Four, three, two, one, we come 
on up. So again, front of the chair, lunge back, lunge back, lunge back. Down, down. If you want to touch the floor instead, touch the floor. Just watch that you're not throwing your head forward. That's why we're using the chair here. So that forces us into proper form. Keep going. And again, you can be up here. Just making sure we're keeping that back nice and flat. And alternating that lunge. Almost there. Four. Four. Three. Three. Two. Two, last one each side. Stand up. Elbow to knee. Really bring it together. You're balancing with the chair, so you can really get that elbow to the knee. Exhale as you come together. Inhale as you bring it down. How about two more this side? You're going to turn around. I'm going to hold on to this. Ready? Go. Can you believe it's almost already 6 o'clock? Almost halfway finished with the whole class already. And we're just starting to have fun. Keep it going. Two more this side. Ready, skip it out. Level one, level two, level three is just faster. Get it going, get it going. Big skip. Take it around the chair. to that waist. Exhale, inhale. How'd you get home so early? Sure. Get ready, switch sides. Get that back flat. You guys want Chris to come on do some exercises for you? Do you want to see him? Come center and reach. 
Sorry, you're going to lean here. That's fine. You're still really working this side. No matter how much you're holding on here, you're still really crunching that side. Keep going. Keep going. Four more this side. Four. Three. Two. Switch sides. Here we go. This is it. Last time you have to do these today. So, I kind of want to use the chair and other things we use at home. Well, we have the chance, but we're all still at home. Four more. Four. Three. Two. Get ready. Level one. Double. Level two. Level three. Just faster. This is our third time around. I wish I could, I had you on a big screen and I could see everybody that was here. Come on, five seconds. Finish this. Three, two, one. Get that march going. Whew. So you know the deal, you have a whole minute. If you want water, get water. I want you to bring one elbow across the body. Not around the neck, across the chest down here. Open up that back. Other side. Deep breath. You got a whole 30 seconds left to yourself. So however you want to use them. I'm going to get a drink. Have the chair, short end, and you're going to. You can either be here, one weight, and then it will switch to the other one. Otherwise, you're up and both weights. Ready, set, here, here, extend, or here. Just make sure you're not bringing it all the way up here. So, again, I kind of like the chair because it forces you into position. So if you're doing one weight, I want you to take it over to the other side now. So kick it back. So again, holding onto the chair, you can still bring it all the way up here. It's a little bit more challenging though. So I'm going to step that triceps early so I can show you where we're going. You're going to stay here. I'm just going to preview. You guys can stay with the triceps. We're going to squat, and you're going to bring the leg all the way around. And you're going to squat, and you're going to bring the leg all the way around. Let that weight now come with me. Ready? So squat, cross over, set it down. Cross over, set it down. If that's too high for you, here, you can just imagine that you have a little stool in front of you, up and over. Push it back. Push it back. Here, up and over, press it back. Up and over, press it back. So again, the chair is forcing you in a proper form. Up and over, here we go. Couple more. Couple more. So if you have your weights on the chair, you're gonna end up moving them for abs. One more side. Last one. Put the weights on your chair. 
Put him under the chair. Have a seat right here. So fanning on the edge. One knee at a time. Here we go. So you keep doing this. I'm going to turn the chair so I'm facing you. So you're here. You're leaning back. Fanning on the edge. Hands almost to the back of the chair. Both knees are right here. Up, tap. Now, if you're not there, stay here. This is fine. This is more challenging. Almost there. So if you want to alternate, then a double. Single, single, double, double. Double, double. Stay in double. Give me two more doubles. One and two. Come on up. Level one. Level two. Level three. Chair. Ready? Level three. Out and in. Out and in. Out and in. Out and in. Other one. Here or here. So yeah, this is more challenging. We're doing little push-ups. This is the easiest, but not by any stretch of the imagination easy. Keep it going, keep it going. Monday workout. Never miss a Monday. And morning people know that's my rule. Never miss a Monday. Because if you miss Monday, it's easy to miss Tuesday. Five more seconds. Then you miss Wednesday. We'll get the whole week shot. Ready, son? One weight or two weights. Kick back. Kick back. So if you want to be up here, you can put the elbow down. Just think, pinky to ceiling. So if you want to do both weights, just watch your form. Just watch that form. Press up, bring down. Press up. Press up. If you have one weight, switch side. Switch, 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 switch. Keep it going. I keep saying switch. You don't have to switch. You're on one side. Stay on that other side. Feeling and release. Give it two more on this side. Now, this time, if you want to hold the weight, you can. Down, up, and over. Down, up, and over. Down, up, and over. Down, up, and over. You get it. I'm going to put the weight down. My critically challenged friends, down here. If you have restricted range of motion, Two, you can do this. Right here. Just make that circle. Open up that hip. And press back. So imagine the chair is in front of you if you're not using the chair. Down, up and over. Down, up and over. Down, up and over. Down. One more. Turn around. One knee at a time. Just the toes. Just tap the toes. Get that back nice and flat. If you're ready, double, double. Up and down. So, if you're in double, double, and you want to challenge, you're going to take it to one side, to the other side. One side, other side. When you breathe, exhale, inhale. You can stay here. That's fine. If you put your hands on your core, you're going to feel even one leg. Really working hard. Four, three. Two, come 
Come on up. One side. Level one is here. Level two is here. Level three, you know the deal. Level three here. Out and in. Otherwise, here. Here. This song right now, this is my problem. Yeah, I always want candy. Some of you guys get, get it. I always say this, you're either a sweet person or you're a savory person. I'm sweet. I know, you already knew that. You got, 20, you got 15 seconds to like third round. Ten more seconds, keep it going. I'm turning my chair, you guys don't have to keep moving your chair. Well, I can't see your form. You've got, you're checking it yourself, right? Three, two, one. One weight or two weight. Ready? Extend. 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 Keep that back. Flat. Pinky to the ceiling. All the way up past the body. Past the body. And back down to the hip. Two more this side. Ready, bring it over. And extend it up right here. Do you see it coming up past my back? If you want to be here, make sure you're not letting that body rock. If you have two weights, same thing. Keep going. Eight. chair. Squat. Up and over. Squat. Up and over. Squat. So again, range of motion. Ball and socket joint. Moving it just a little bit different tonight. We did these a while ago. It's been a while. Get that big rotation. You're not turning the body. You're keeping the body square. Up and over. Up and over, over that chair if you can. Up and over that chair if you can. Great big step. Great big step. See, this is the movement that you're going to feel tomorrow. Even though we're not doing, it's not really hard, you don't have a lot of weight. It's not a normal movement throughout your day. I don't know, maybe it is. One more. Turn around. One side, then the other. Standing on the edge of the chair, hands on your back. If you're there. And two more. One, two, double, double. Up and tap. Up and tap. Exhale, inhale. You can take a break. Double Take a break, do single. Do doubles. You want to add direction? Here you go. Right side, center, left side, center. Ten more seconds. for that last set of cardio? Come on up. Level one is here. Level two is here. Level three. Out and in. Out and in. Out and in. You know the deal. You don't have to be in level three. You don't have to. And if you don't have that upper body strength right now, don't try it. Don't try it. You can do it next time. 2020. 2021 sounds good. Come on, you got 20 seconds. Finish the line. Or here. Keep it going. Yes, you can. You got 10 seconds. Power through this. Five, four, three, two, 
One, come on up, march it out. Great big deep breath. Bring one arm up between the shoulder blades. Reach right here. Give that march. Other side. Bring it down. So I'm going to move the chair out of the way. We're just going to finish up, bring our heart rate down before we get down on the floor. So, I'm going to move my chair. If you want to use your chair, you can. We're just going to do some curtsies. So you can hold on to that chair, again, for form, and curtsy with me. So it's curtsy, center, curtsy, center. Nice and easy, right here. Down and up. Just bringing our heart rate down. So we're not going fast. Four more like that in four, three, two, one. Little march right here. March it out. Two breaths. We're going to get a mat. We're going to come down to the floor. here, sitting up. I know we've already done a gazillion abs. So it's all right. We're going to bring the elbows back. I'm going to pull one foot down, turn the other foot out, and a little lift. Up and down. Up and down. Up and down. Four more. Four. Three. Two. Bring that knee back right here. Here and cross. So it's going to be a shorter set because we don't have the same amount of time. Four more in four, three, two, back to that long leg right here. Lift and lower. Lift and lower. Four more. Four, three, two, pull that knee back. Make sure that foot's turned out. Feel that in the inner thigh. Four more like that. Four, three, two, last round. Lift the leg up. Lift and lower. Four more like that. Four, three, two, draw it back. Last eight this side. We're going to go right into the other side, so be ready. Four more, be ready. Four, if you want to lie all the way down, you can lie all the way down. Just put those hands in the small of the back. Switch legs, the long legs, that foot is turned out. So again, if you want to lay down, put your hands in the small of the back. Otherwise, you're on your elbows. Two more. Draw that knee back. Back and cross. Back and cross. Four more. Somebody Google total eclipse of the heart. Two more. Long leg. Lift and lower. Keep that foot turned out. Four more like that. In four, three, two. Draw that knee back. Here we go. Got to stay even, Steven. Four more like that. Four, three, two, turn the final set. You got this. Yes, you can. Power through it. Power through it. 
Does it hurt or are you hurt? Four more like that. Four, three, two, draw it back. Last eight, finish strong. Eight, seven, six, five, four more, and four, three, two, one. Come on up. Oh, so bring it out in front. Feet are together. Who's gonna? the body, open it up, arm is long, look down the arm past the fingertips, palm to ceiling. We come to center. I'm going to drop out to the side. Oh, we just work that, so that feels good, right? Center, straighten that leg, gentle rotation. Drops out, ankle crosses over, pull it through. And release that leg is long, knee to the chest, point and flex that foot a couple times. Bring that knee across the body, open the arm up long behind you. Straighten that leg, gentle rotation of that ankle. And the other way. Knee drops out, ankle crosses over, reach through, pull it in. Bottom of the feet together, grab the outside of the feet, just draw them back. Little rock, open up that spine. Pull the knees back a little farther, happy baby. And release it. Walk it out. Give me that long pencil stretch. And release it. Arms down by your side. Palms to ceiling. Close your eyes. And focus on that breath. Every inhale through the nose, fill the lungs completely. Every exhale through the mouth, empty the lungs completely. Relax the muscles in the neck and the shoulders. Release that tension in the jaw. Let the spine melt into the floor. Feel that pressure release across the hips. Down the hamstrings, down the calves, and the feet just drop out. Just a couple more deep breaths. Okay, return to your regular breathing pattern in through the nose, out through the nose. Breath in, on the exhale, give the fingertips a little wiggle. Great big deep 
breath in. On the exhale, open the eyes, give the toes a little wiggle. Deep breath in, draw the right knee to the chest, hold it there, exhale. Deep breath, left knee comes up to meet it, exhale. Great big deep breath. Exhale, rock the body up, bring it to straddle stretch. Okay. Hands on the floor. So we're remembering our small businesses and we're giving back to our community and trying to shop at our local stores, which might be a little bit more of a challenge because it's if you don't want to go out hard to order online. Some of them do have online ordering. Um, so check it out. Hands to one side. But like really, especially the rest, the restaurants and the salons and the gyms and the, all these places that have struggled because of the shutdown. One hand on each foot. Chest. Give gifts of massages, manicures, product from your salon. Just say, say, go to see Kim Adelman at Nest in the Village. Tell her Dawn sent you. One leg out, one foot to the inner thigh. I'm sure she loves to hear that. Um, she probably does. I'm kidding. If you've never been there, it is a an experience intensive. I'm not, I'm, the words are escaping. There's so many things to see and so many smells and love it in there. Foot up and over, elbow. And if you want something unique, that is your place. Carry down onto the hip. Stack those legs. Oh, feel that quad open up. That feels good. We did a lot of really deep squats. Other side. Head up, foot to the inner thigh. So again, some different stuff. Let me know what you think. Feedback is always good. You know, if enough people think you don't like it, probably won't do it. Um, I don't want anyone getting injured, so we know the deal. Does it hurt or am I hurt? Sharp shooting pain always means stop. I think this at the end. Probably a good thing to say in the beginning. Foot up and over, elbow. But I think I've said it so much, hopefully it rings in your ears all the time. I think the thing that we miss when we're doing this this way virtually is when you're doing it virtual and you want to just sit down on the couch you kind of can you don't have you know Dawn or Anne Marie or Doreen or Kathy Kirk saying hey get your butt moving can it feet together I just picked them they're not gonna they're not gonna really do that cross the legs we're gonna find a pulse now pulse in your wrist or your neck and start counting now and stop so there's your cool down number it should be good I'm hoping it's around 15 your own home if you want to stay on your floor stay on your floor otherwise feet are wide knuckles into the floor push the weight forward head's the last thing to come up roll it back elbows back my arms back great big deep breath remember if you haven't told me whether or not you would come to class next saturday please go onto the hope chest workout page and take Enter your answer in the poll there or just down in the comments, let me know. Um, otherwise, we'll be back here Wednesday night at 30-ish. Have a great night. See you soon.